Begin by launching the tool from your Start menu. The tool will display as the Pelco 3D Camera Design Tool. Please keep in mind, in order to successfully use this tool, you must meet the minimum PC requirements as indicated on the tool download page. Upon launch, there are several ways to import a CAD drawing into the tool. You can import a drawing by selecting File, then Import Architectural Model from the menu options. Or you can use the option under Getting Started at the center of the screen. Click on To Import an AutoCAD Floor Plan. You will be prompted with a dialog box. Once the desired drawing has been selected, select Open. A preview window will appear. The tool is designed to detect doors, windows, and walls. In the event they are not properly detected, you can modify by double-clicking on the word and making the modification instantly. In this preview mode, you have the option to move the diagram around using your mouse. This preview allows you to zoom in and out to ensure all doors, windows, and walls have been properly detected by the software. In the event you have an area that has a rounded design or irregular angles, such as an atrium, you can select the Bounded Floor option to ensure the entire drawing is captured. You can recenter the preview image by clicking the icon in the lower right corner of your screen. The tool allows users to change the color of the floor and the ceiling. You can make this color change simply by clicking on the colored square and selecting the desired color. Upon initial download of the tool, the tool defaults to metric. However, you do have the option to change the tool measurements once inside the tool. Your preferences will be saved for later use, as is reflected here with imperial measurements. You can change the height of your walls by overriding the values or by using the up and down arrows. Once complete, select Import. You're now being shown a 3D rendering of your model. To navigate in the rendering, there are a few mouse clicks you need to know. You can move an item using your left mouse button. You can zoom in and out using the center scroll button of your mouse. You can turn an item on its axis using your right mouse button. You can control the speed in which items move in the 3D world by using the movement slide. There are several key icons at the top of the screen that you will utilize. These include camera, door, police officer, car, suspect, and custom place marks. Let's begin by placing a camera in the 3D world. Click on the camera icon at the top of your screen, then click anywhere in the 3D world where you desire the camera to be placed. Using your mouse, you can move the camera into the desired position. You can pivot the camera using your right mouse button. On the lower right hand side of your screen, you'll notice a preview window. You can change the view of your camera by adjusting your camera in this preview window. The camera icon defaults to a generic camera. To select a specific model, click on the Camera Model button on the left hand of your screen. The tool is preloaded with all current Pelco cameras and their compatible lenses. You can filter down your options by typing in a partial part number. Once you've located the desired camera, select OK. You can specify the name of the camera by double-clicking in the Name field. This naming becomes helpful when you have multiple cameras in the 3D world. You can adjust the height of the camera simply by typing the desired height. You can also adjust the field of view by sliding the field of view scale. Please note the field of view range is specific to the camera and lens combination you've selected. If you have a pixel on target requirement, this tool has a built-in pixels on target configurator. You can access this via the View menu at the top of your screen. You can customize the pixels on target requirement using the up and down arrows. You can also customize the color simply by clicking on the color box and selecting the desired color. You will repeat this step for every pixels on target level required. To see the pixels on target projection in your 3D world, change your view in the View menu to Pixels on Target Projection. By adding a car and a suspect to your 3D world, you can see how the Pixels on Target Configurator can be viewed in relation to objects in the 3D world. 
In the preview window at the lower right corner of your screen, you can preview the view at the maximum resolution of that camera and lens combination you've selected. You can use this preview window to change your field of view using the sliding scale. Once you are pleased with the view, you are now ready to export your bill of materials. You can access this feature via the File menu option at the top of your screen and by selecting Export Bill of Materials. Once you save this file, which saves as a CSV, you can also save a secondary report called the Camera Report. This report is also accessible via the File menu. The Bill of Materials report provides you with the camera name, the camera model, the lens model, the camera height, and the desired fields of view based on the sliding scale adjustments you made. It also provides a list of all the lenses and the associated cameras for quick reference. This report will reflect every camera and lens in your 3D world. The camera report saves as a PDF file with one page dedicated for each camera in your 3D world. The report contains all the camera model information, including lens, camera height, and field of view. It also contains three points of view of the camera in your 3D world. This includes a top-down view, a bird's eye view, and a through-the-lens view. This one-page reference sheet can be extremely helpful in the event you have multiple cameras in your 3D world. When you have completed your 3D world, you can save your project for access at a later time.